Today I'm going to show you how I paint and digitize my watercolor food illustrations. I'm going to be using this blank page notebook which was given to me by my brother. It's not really a watercolor paper but I like using it. Here are some Ilocano food illustrations I made on April last year. These designs will be made into stickers for Stickers for Food PH, a collaborative fundraising project that aims to create and sell food-themed stickers to help provide food for our fellow Filipinos in need during this quarantine. Are you ready? Let's go! When using watercolor, I always start with the lightest colors first. I also stick with one color each time to have a smooth flow. As you can see, I usually paint loosely. Just letting the paint flow freely creates uneven colors, which I really like. It creates a texture or something like that. Next, let's add the darker colors. I don't totally cover the previous layer in order to leave some highlights. Working on multiple drawings on one page helps give time for each layer to dry. It's time to add another layer to give depth. With less water on the brush, Add final touches to make the details more visible. And we're done! After it's dry, we can scan it or take a photo and transfer it to our computer. Since my printer is still in the repair shop, I used my camera. You're gonna edit them on Photoshop and later on Illustrator. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. First, let's remove the background. The easiest way to do this is by using the magic wand tool. Just select the background and hit delete. Since I took this image using my camera and not a scanner, there will be an evenness on the background color so additional selection and erasing may be needed. After that, I also adjusted the brightness and the layout. This makes it easier for me to edit it later. Save as a PNG file and export to Illustrator. It really makes me 
wonder. On Illustrator, click on the image and go to Image Trace. Then select High Fidelity Photo. This will transform the image into a vector file. Select your image again and click Expand. Right-click on the image and click on Group. Click on the background and hit Delete. Use the Selection tool or Lasso tool to select the individual food illustrations and hit Ctrl G to group them. And now we can finally save them. If you want to save them individually, right-click on each image and save them as 300 ppi png files. Click Export Asset and you're done! ta Here are our food stickers! What do you think? Looks delicious, right? Wow, did you notice? It's already April. Time sure flies, doesn't it? Many things happened in such a short time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. On my end, staying organized and focused on my tasks is still a huge challenge. Especially now that I don't have shop duties due to the quarantine. I used to spend most of my time working on products and orders. Now it seems like I'm kind of floating around. Well, don't get me wrong, rest is good. I love resting. Well, sometimes I love it too much that I just take a rest all day long even when I have things I need to do. And that can be problematic as well. If you somehow face a similar situation and find it difficult to be organized and focused, why not make this time at home a time for cultivating healthy habits and thought patterns? Good habit formation is not only learning to do things consistently, but also unlearning unhealthy habits and thought patterns. And one way to do this is to be diligent in cultivating healthy things with accountability. What are we letting inside our minds? What comes out through our words and actions? What mindset and values are we nurturing? When done properly, the healthy things, thoughts and actions we feed our minds and bodies will eventually replace the unhealthy ones. Let me share this popular quote that talks about and goes beyond the importance of our thought patterns and habits. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character, because it shapes how you live your life. As a person who is mostly spontaneous and laid back, one of the things that has been helping me nourish good habits and a healthier mindset is having a to-do list and a habit tracker. So I suggest that you also give it a try if you haven't already. List down habits or activities you want to build and check which ones you did for specific days. For me, I've included taking vitamins, writing on my journal, doing something creative, exercising, reading or watching healthy content, and a few more. I've been doing this since late last year and I can see some significant changes from the first time I did it. Well, except for the cleaning part. It's been blank for the longest time now, so we still have a lot to work on. Realistically speaking, we can do everything all at once and me too, my time management isn't the best. But there is a sense of fulfillment seeing that I can actually do the things I thought I couldn't. I used to dread the thought of having a to-do list or having a plan written down. 
Or maybe I was just too lazy to even write them down. But if there's one thing that I learned from this experience, it is that changing our habits is actually possible. Yep, you heard it right, friends. Changing our habits is possible. But it takes a whole lot of consistency and discipline, as well as patience with oneself. It takes more than a month in order for an activity to become a habit, and we have to continuously nurture them in order to become a lifestyle. But don't beat yourself up when you miss a task, or miss a day, or even a week. Instead, be proud of the things you actually got done. Understand why some things weren't done, identify the triggers behind them, and try to do things differently next time. And continue and try again the following days. With all these in mind, it's also wise to know that no matter how much we plan or try to control our situation, there will be times when unexpected and unavoidable circumstances happen. We may even get to feel like we're taking more steps backward instead of moving forward. But no matter how challenging things could get, and no matter how uncertain or anxious we could be, let's press forward, intentionally and consistently, one step at a time, one day at a time. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights.